Hello. Today I wanted to add a little task uh, because the map mode is very useful, but sometimes it could be uh, a little ambiguous uh, what level you are selecting. Like in this case, for example, we are almost between two levels. And it's not um, it's not clear to the player which level they um, will select. So I add a little task here and to add a, a frame around the currently selected level or the hmm, let me rephrase that around the level that will be selected okay so um, let's do for this let's do a simple 3d scene mm -hmm. uh, pa -pa -pa. let's call it a cursor let's save it here in the prefabs, yeah. Hmm. Let me check some. Uh, yeah, we will use the um, yeah. Let's add um, a mesh instance for the. Hmm. We should use for yeah um, left border let's use a Q the box mesh yeah material this has uh, yeah new standard material hmm. let's use um unshaded and uh, black for example yeah let's use um let's make it hmm. save it here as the cursor material okay let's check if it's really there, because sometimes uh, I'm shading. If I change it, yeah, okay, okay. Um, we will have the cursor as an abstract node and four uh, borders. Let's make uh, yeah. The left border, the right border, the top border, and the bottom border. And let's uh, change. Mm -hmm. The transform, yeah, they are centered. Okay, the left border should be uh, to the left let's use photographic projection right border a bit to the right the top border up and the bottom border this is no sorry this is uh no sorry <laughs> Okay, this will be our uh, our borders, and let's add a little script here. Let's add it to the scripts folder. Cursor, and this cursor will have to adapt uh, to a given level. So. 
um, let's uh, give it class name. Let's check if it's pre-existing because sometimes yeah no cursor is our class our class <clears throat> okay um as i was saying this <clears throat> must adjust to a given level Turn uh, nothing. For starters, uh, this should hmm. this uh, yeah this should um, follow the current level. Uh, the global center. Okay this hmm. how was i calculating this yeah okay yeah now the uh, left border uh, position we need to adjust the x position yeah so It will be the minimum minimum level exposition. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think I think this will work. Max level. Uh, the top border will be this. And the bottom will be this. I think this should work. Okay. And uh, for now, let's test this. Let's see. We um, need to go to map input. And when when we move the camera. We need, uh, yeah, first we need a way to access the cursor. So we need a cursor, obviously. We need a cursor. Uh, let's use a unique name for the cursor. This is a, a nice feature of Godot. It lets, lets, lets you uh, use the the name of the of a node with a percent uh -huh. and um, this if you change the path of the node in the scene this will not change so there are it's, it's uh, less <clears throat> error prone so we need to find the nearest level okay let's test this mm -hmm. wow okay there, there is something a bit weird <clears throat> hmm. let's check the logic left border uh -huh. Top border, ah, obviously, <laughs> the dangers of copy pasting. Hmm, but this is incorrect. Why? Ah, I know, yeah, these are, uh, yeah, the center <clears throat> is not, uh, the global position is not the center. The, that, that was the idea of making. <laughs> <laughs> this function because the global position of the levels is um, is usually uh, like here 
in this zone so we need to subtract uh, the center yeah the center x and the center y for these ones i think perfect okay now the cursor follows the size of the selected level and it shows which level will be chosen when you release the map okay now it's it's obviously uh, we need to make it invisible by default and um, let's see uh, in the switch fun function and um, in the map mode we will make it uh, uh, cursor visible equal true and here mm -hmm. and uh, the shape of the cursor is a bit uh, let me see mm. ah and we need to adjust immediately to the to the current level I think let me see yeah perfect okay now the shape of the borders should be a bit more uh, slim let's open the scene yeah let's do an adjustment in the mm -hmm. let's make them uh, a bit uh, yeah the left and right have to be no uh, need to be tall and these ones need to be slim okay now the cursor hmm. what happened Ah, obviously we are not seeing them because they are uh, <laughs> they are be behind <laughs> behind the walls. Okay, we need to change this. Um, hmm. Minus one, plus one, plus one, minus one. Let's see perfect okay now the uh, the size of the borders should be equal to the uh, yeah to the width and height and have border scale dot y should be equal to um, Sorry, uh, mean level X and the, uh, the same for the right border. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, perfect. And the same for the bottom top border and the same for the top border here but for the x for the x component 
<coughs> sorry, um, we use the Y. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh, what happened here? We uh, let's see scale. Ah, no, yeah, it's uh, the reverse. <laughs> okay, yeah, now it works. It's a bit clunky, but uh, it's nice to to be sure what level will you select. We could um, make it um, no, sorry, uh, scale. Yes, plus one. Plus one, let's separate. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, let's do a wider, yeah, so it's a nice rectangle. Mm -hmm. hmm. We could we could do uh, a bit of effect this kinds of uh, <laughs> I like it yeah I like this this better nice okay this uh, for a Sunday is a is a nice short video if you enjoy press like you can support me uh, there is a link in the description several links to to show support and um, share the video with the people that could enjoy these kinds of uh, content thanks